Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another project share to share with you guys, a cute little album I created using a die in the shape of a hat and it's just so adorable. So I'm gonna go into detail about what I put inside, the paper collection I use, the die information and everything. So let's get started so you guys can be on your merry way to make one also. Maybe not your merry way. I mean, I don't know. But maybe you guys want to create one too. So you guys will find out everything that I used. And let's get started. Okay, so first things first. I used a die to create this. I did not use my silhouette cutting machine. It is a die that you could purchase from Scrap Diva Designs. And oh my gosh, guys, it is so cute. It comes with a ton of pieces. So let me go over that first. So this die set, it has, oh my gosh, there's so many pieces in here. I'd even use like half of these pieces. So you definitely get a lot. Okay, so you get a couple of like word dies. This one says winter. This one says stay. This one says cozy. And this one says warm. So you could do stay cozy, stay warm. You could just have it say winter. Um, so you could add any of these like words on top and they have the little cutout plus the shadow layer, which I love having the shadow layers for dies, especially for word dies. Um, and oh you also have another word wishes so you could also do like warm wishes or winter wishes um cozy wishes i guess if you want also so this is what i used i used this piece basically for the whole entire album which is the main outside layering piece i just wanted all of mine to have that little um pom-pom on top you totally do not need to do that and if you don't you're stitching will take you a lot less time because I had to stitch all around up in there. So probably would have been easier for me to do this on the outside, on the outside, like the front and back cover. And then the inside, maybe just do this one. And then I would only have to stitch around that and they would, they, they're the same size just without the pom pom. So that would have worked perfectly, but I did not, I did not use, um, this piece i just used this one you also have this piece where you could change the color of like the pom-pom on top but as you guys can see on mine i just added the pom-pom here and then i left the other ones whatever paper that it comes with but you could totally do that also and change the color of that this is just another layering piece on top of here and then you could also add another layering piece that has like the faux stitched look so maybe you don't wanna do stitching and you wanna add a layering piece, you could add the layering piece now on top of that. That would sit inside of here as well. So that's an option. Now I did use this piece. That is this piece right here and I cut mine out on some corrugated like silver paper. So that's this die right here that just sits right on top of here, kind of like the hat part, like the little ridges here. Another option you have for the background is to just kind of make, um, have like this design in there. So for this one, you would use um, both of these. Instead of like that stitched one, you would use both of these and it would cut that out with that little design in there and then you would have the background layer on here. So you could also do that as an option to add to the hat and then you could still do this or guys like i told you there's so many pieces you could also just do it like this with um the pattern kind of like here so you could do that one also and then there's also this little die i guess kind of like maybe like a tag or something i was thinking for this one but i didn't end up using that i just had a die cut that i ended up stitching on that kind of would look like this you could cut out something and or stamp something in here and cut it out and put it like here. But that's what I was thinking that would be. Um, so those are all the pieces that this hat die comes with. Um, she also sent me this, which is for like albums. I decided to do like a cinch binding on mine, but this is kind of like, I guess like an album set where you can use this. Cause as you guys see, there's no holes in here. You could punch your own holes or like I did, I cinch bound mine, but you could also just use these where you die cut these out you fold them and they're individual pieces that then you could stick down onto the paper kind of connecting the album 
that way. So that is an option also. You could use this. This is gonna be so helpful for so many different dyes that don't have like that hole or whatever. And this already would give you a little hole um, that you could put binder, like the binder rings through. So that is an option. Um, but like I said, I just used my cinch machine um, and I cinch bound my hat together like this. All right, so let me put this away and I'll show you guys the paper that I use, but don't forget to check out Scrap Diva Designs for the die set, the hat die. You could also get this one. I'll have them, um, I'll have our store linked down below for you guys so you guys could check that out. So for my Cutie Patootie album, I used this paper collection called Winter Frost that I had in my stash. It is such a cute paper collection. I don't know what year this is from, but it's by Die Cuts with a View. And I just seem to have a ton of this paper. I think I maybe got it from somebody that was doing like a de-stash or something because I do have like more than what's in the original actual paper pad. There was just like a bunch stuffed in there. Um, so I think I got this paper in a de-stash and it worked so well for this little album as you guys will see in a little bit. It was just absolutely perfect. And I loved like this little like wood pattern on the front. I didn't even want to decorate it. I just thought it was just so stinking cute just the way it was. I didn't want to put a pattern there. I tried it with a pattern. I did at first and I like layered a pattern and I kept going back to that wood grain. Um, so this is the paper collection. This is what it looks like. There's, I have a bunch of paper <laughs> in here. Some uh, like some I now like cut into. I didn't really pull any additional sheets sheets but as you guys can see like some of these are just tucked in here so there was just a bunch so i pulled from like the single ones and i still have like a lot of half pieces um that i did not use in my album i could have made a couple of these i should have made a couple at a time that probably would have been the better choice and then i would have had more that i could put in my etsy shop that is the winter frost collection i used for the paper then for a couple of stickers and all the cut aparts, I use this collection called Winter Magic by Echo Park. So a couple of stickers. I didn't use a lot, um, maybe like one or two stickers. And then I did use a lot of the cut aparts though. So that was from this collection called Winter Magic. And then I used some ephemera from this collection called snow much fun by cardabella so i used the frames and tags and some of the ephemera so i used a little mix of everything because obviously we know the die cuts with a view does not come with stickers it does not come with enough cut aparts for me to use um and you know no ephemera or anything like that so i used a mix of all that okay so with that being said let's get into this and i'm gonna link my cinch binding machine down below you know what, let me show it to you guys real quick. I've shown it before, but let me show it again because some people were recently asking me what kind of wiring this is, so I will show you. Okay, so the cinch binding machine looks like this. It is the Heidi Swap. I have the pink one. Um, it's just a cinch binding machine by We Are Memory Keepers. So what you do is all of these punch out holes. I only have it set to cut these first three, which is how I got um, these three holes here and I have the other ones pulled out so that it doesn't cut these aren't gonna cut because they're pushed out so if you push them back in now that means they would cut so I mean there's a little bit of a learning curve to learning this but it's really not hard to use at all so you would punch out your pieces first and then you put your ring on here so depending on how many you punched out that's how many like wires you would cut and for my album, I ended up just using a scrap piece of wire. So I had like this one left over. I cut off three rings because it was like up to here. I used some of the other part for something else. And so the wire itself lasts you a while. I even, and it comes in a ton of different colors. Like I have pink, I have turquoise, I have so many other colors, but I mainly use the white I have found. Um, so then you would just put those on here. You would add your pages on top. And then the last thing you do, you put, turn your settings, whatever size wire you have, you put that here. Then you stick down, not stick down, but like you place your wire here and then you press down on this handle. And as you press down, this kind of closes and it would cinch the wire together. So it's very easy to use, but that's all I did. I used my cinch um, machine to do that. And that's all this wire is, just cinch binding 
I guess, wire. And it works on so many different albums. And I actually used it on my engagement album that I made. Let me just show you guys that real quick because I used it in here. So this one, I actually used the black wire, but I used it here also in my engagement album. So anyway... That's enough talking about that. Let me go into detail about showing you guys this album. So I did some silver stitching around the whole entire thing on every single page. Um, I added this little like snowflake here and a little like dangle wire wrapped bead here just for a little something something. This was a um, ephemera piece from some collection. I don't know, maybe it was from the Snow Much Fun, maybe something else. This foiled corrugated paper, I know you guys are going to ask me where I got that, and it's actually from Amazon. Um, I also had a gold one, which I recently made some coffee card, coffee cup cards with. Um, but this, when I went into my Amazon, is no longer available. I will link it, so if you guys want to add it to your cart, and maybe when it does come back in stock, then you could order it. But I will link it. It's just out of stock, as I last checked. Um, but it's an option. And this was just ribbon. It's not even like a pom-pom. It's ribbon that I just coiled kind of around that top piece. And it just looks fluffy and fun. And it's not too chunky because it is a ribbon. So it kind of lays pretty flat. You could see like a pom-pom usually is just like one big ball and it doesn't do that. But so I like how that is. It's kind of like on a rope and I just have it uh, twirled in there. So then when you open this up, it looks like this. So on this side here, I used a ephemera piece that says, let's go sledding. And I stuck down this piece of paper for some journaling. So I was thinking you could do some journaling right here. This pulls out, you could write a whole bunch of stuff. And then you could also flip this open and add a photo here. And then this just kind of tucks right back into there in that spot. And that kind of like keeps it closed just like that. And you could also add a photo on the outside of this also and that would be cute also as like your first kind of page and then you also could flip it down for some notes and memories then this side has a ephemera piece that says just can't wait for that first snowfall and there's a cut apart in here so it's a little tuck spot and this just says let's build a snowman and you could add a photo to the back and you could add a photo back here as well then this flips this one I have a side pocket here and it says snuggled up at home with a little ephemera piece and a tag inside that says happy days with some seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. And I'll have um, her link down below as well for the seam binding. And you could just write some stuff on here. You could tuck in some more photos on here or stick a photo in there also. And then this one I left blank for like a full size photo or you could do two smaller or you could probably do like a grid of photos here, like four smaller photos if you would like. Then there's this page, left this one blank, and for more photos, and this one I did a little paper clip. I did not have a silver paper clip, and I was so bummed about that, um, because everything else in this collection is like silver foiled. So I only had a gold star, and I added a little charm onto it, and then I also paper clipped in a little glassine bag and put some ice skates on it with some sticker, and then you could just put some goodies in there, maybe a memory from like an ice skating maybe ticket that you went or maybe for some whatever mountain you went on you could tuck in some goodies in there then the next page I left this blank for some photos and this one I created another little pocket kind of like tuck spot and then has a tag that says winter wishes and blank on the back with the seam binding from my scrap cabin shop isn't this paper just so beautiful like I alternated between blues and then the grays and blues so i alternated it that way as i was creating um this album so now we're to our blue page and then the next one's gray so this one is also blank on this side and here i used a cut apart that i just scored at the top and i had to cut down the cut aparts a little bit because it's not um they, i couldn't fit a full three by four on here so i did have to cut them down a little bit but i scored this one at the top and it says snow friends stick together and you could open this up and you could either add like a white blank space here and add some journaling. You could add a photo back here or just add two photos. And actually, you could add a photo here and then a photo here that maybe you only want to glue on the three sides here. And then you could still tuck in like a tag into that spot here also if you want to. So there's always more options to add some more tuck spots. 
Um, and you could do that with any photo that you glue down. If you glue down a photo here on three sides, you could add in a tuck spot on the top and tuck something in there, like a little tag or whatever. Um, then here, another blank one. Then this one says cold days and warm hearts. And this one just has another little like journaling space on here that just folds open like that. And you could add photos here. You could include this even under the paper clip and take that out and add a photo here whatever you want to do, but that is like left open for a tuck spot. So you could definitely rearrange the album however you want. Um, then there's this one. This one I made into a belly band and I put in like a cocoa um, ephemera piece and that has a cut apart that just says you melt my heart. And you could also tuck in some photos there as well. Then this one has a ephemera piece that says frost and ice with a little cut apart that says hello winter. And that just tucks in there. This one has another tuck spot that says bundle up with a cut apart that says I like warm hugs. And then you have a blank space for photos. This one just says winter magic. It is left a little bit open so you can tuck something in here as well. And it like it'll hold. That's like a nice like fit right there. And then this one I also made a belly band but this way. So the other one was... Um, vertical and this one is horizontal so you could do it either way and I just used whatever scraps of paper I had so after cutting out my design I left I held onto that paper and just cut out like strips and pockets from whatever I had left over then there's this one that looks like this you could do journaling and add a photo or both and then this one actually I did use that one die that had the stitching layer so I had cut it out to kind of test out and I didn't like it on the pages, but I did end up using it in here. So I made this into like a little flip out. So I didn't use that combining thing and kind of made my own here, like a little attachment, but I could have used that other thing that um, Erica sent me that for the albums where you could combine them and attach them together. So that would have been a great idea. I just thought of that now. <laughs> But anyway, so I was just trying to use this other scrap piece that I wouldn't have had a use for otherwise. Um, and I made it like a little flip out page so you could add photos on both sides. And then there's just a little sticker here. And then on the back, it just looks like this. And I just have my handmade with love kind of logo sticker and um, Etsy shop on there. And that is the whole entire album. So this album, I actually don't know if I'm going to have this listed in my Etsy shop. It kind of depends. It might be, but it might not be. Um, but definitely if it is listed, it'll be at some point like after this video because I haven't done my coffee giveaway announcement yet. And originally I was going to give away a stocking Christmas shaped album. Um, but because Christmas has passed, I'm also going to offer this one for the giveaway and have the recipient choose whether they want the hat album or the stocking shaped album. So whichever one that they don't want, I will list in my Etsy shop. So it kind of just depends on what they, they choose. So either I'll have a stocking shaped album in my shop or I'll have a hat album in my shop. Um, but I gotta make that coffee giveaway winner like announcement video after this. So, I, so this is not gonna be like up at the time of posting this video, but if it is up later on, I will definitely announce it in my community page and I will announce it on Instagram. So we shall see. But in the meantime, get your hands on the die set because like I said, it comes with a ton of pieces for this hat die. And if you want, you could also get this one. This is the little tab things I was just talking about that I did on my last page and I totally could have used this. I mean, maybe, maybe not because this also has the little loop-de-loop. -loop. So this is more for kind of like binder um binder rings I would say so maybe I wouldn't even have used that but anyway I maybe I could have used the pattern paper but it is what it is so get your hands on the die set so cute it just creates the cutest little album ever and if you wanted to you could also add just like some uh hole punch these and add a binder ring here you could do a binder ring at the top if you're not going to do a pom-pom I seen somebody do a cinch binding down here at the bottom and then it kind of like flips down but I really wanted mine to flip sideways, so that's how I did mine, just on the three rings here. And I think it turned out really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you guys, including the die set, the cinch inf binding information, and I'll try to link the paper down below as well, so you guys could just get everything you need from the description of 
the one video and including the foiled paper and everything. So I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. Don't forget to check that out. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project share. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.